I want the record to be made clear that Mr. Vance did not rape anyone on that night. He pled guilty to seduction, which is having sex with an unmarried woman, which is what happened and which is what he told the police happened. But I do not believe that I can stand in this courtroom while Mr. Vance is repeatedly labeled a rapist. Do you think you did anything wrong? No, Your Honor. Your, Why are we here? Your Honor, Mr. Vance does believe that the activities of that night meet the elements of seduction. He had sex with an unmarried woman. While that is an old offense or old statute that is on the books, the activities that night do rise to the elements of seduction. And my comments should not be in any way to the detriment of Mr. Vance. But I believe for, on behalf of myself that I needed to make sure the record was set straight. <clears throat> Mr. Vance is fully prepared today to go forward with sentencing and has a few comments to make. And while I understand that the court does not want to re-victimize anyone, it is important. There are three young men, and I only represent one of them, who are accused of a horrific crime. And they have the opportunity to speak. And I am speaking on behalf of myself about, again, things that are verified facts from the record. Not asking the court to allow Mr. Vance to withdraw his plea, but I do believe it's important that Mr. Vance not just have to stand here and be labeled a rapist when that is not what happened. Well, classify what, how you might counsel, but sex without consent is rape in this country. Sir, did you do something wrong? No, you're on. No? He, the issue is not one of consent. Seduction does not require consent or lack of consent in order for the elements to be met. Does she have sex with an unmarried woman? Yes, Your Honor. Did you know she didn't want sex? She was consensual. 